haven't got any dill in my teeth or anything, have I? No, no dill in my teeth. Good. <laughs> What we do is we teach people to cook for less than one pound a portion. Bags of Taste is an organisation that works with people in or at risk of food poverty to improve their diets. I usually do mine very big because I'm lazy. <laughs> this is my first time visit. I meant to come last week, going anywhere new and different can be a bit of a challenge. Just self-consciousness really, you know, going into a new group of people, because when you're kind of addicted to something, it's very easy to isolate yourself and just stay at home. My teenage son, he has a very limited palate, so I don't really cook just for myself. I'm glad, it's a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction, which is good. People call me Josh. So I thought, well, that's very good. I would love to have a piece of that action. I'm from Caribbean, and of course, I've learned to cook a lot of Caribbean food, rice and peas. And here, learning to Malaysian noodle, it has given me an exciting bite. It breaks the monotony. So be on your own. I was really conscious when I had previously taught cooking lessons that people were not going home and actually cooking that food again at home. And I didn't really feel it was changing their diets. They can take them home and cook them for friends and family. And those bags are what really makes the difference because it's, it's the real peer pressure. People say, oh, that's better than the takeaway. Can you make it again? And when when neighbours come round and say, oh, I smell your cooking and it smells amazing. Can I try some? Those kind of things are the things that actually really change people's behaviour. We're a team. Are we only met in here? That's really, where are we cooking in there? Um, these, these two, isn't it? The fish, isn't it? I'm a basic cook. You know, roast beef and chicken and things. We don't really do lots of different things. So to come and learn here, it's nice to do something different in a different way. That's store yeah, frame is it? It's very good. Right? The, um, when it was enough for four yeah, people, not one, right? Oh. And I had enough to do me for three days after, right? <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. People in poverty eat the worst and have the worst health outcomes, often because of their diets. It's not just about changing them through cooking, but actually creating communities of people that mix together and, and, are, and are friends. I think that, that's really important. I'm quite proud of that. Lovely jobly! <laughs>